Hi, I'm Daniel Weisberg, Search Advocate at Google. And I'm Emma Hyam, Product Manager for Search. In this video, we'll discuss how to help Google understand the nature of your site and content. This will help Google decide if and how to apply Safe Search filters to your site. If you'd like to learn more about what Safe Search is, how it works, and how to use it for a safer online experience, check our previous video where we go through it all in detail. First of all, if you publish content online, it can be really helpful to read through Google Search content policies. This can help maximize the reach of your content by making sure that your content is not objectionable or offensive. Check the links in the description to learn more about it. As we said in our last video, Safe Search is designed to help users manage unwanted exposure to visual depictions of explicit sexual content, violence, or gore. It relies on automated systems that use machine learning, but also a variety of other signals to identify explicit content. This can include words on the hosting web page and in links. As a website owner, you can also help us classify your content. Why would you do that? Great question. If you host both explicit and non-explicit content on your site and you don't implement the suggestions mentioned in this video, our systems may filter out your entire site when safe search filtering is on. And that's gonna happen even if some pages might not contain explicit sexual or violent content. So let's dive into the steps you can take for that not to happen. Before you work too hard on optimizing your site for safe search, check if your page is being identified as explicit. To do so, perform any search that brings your site up in Google Search. Then turn on safe search. If you don't see your page in the results, it is likely being affected by safe search filtering on this query. To discover if your entire site is being identified as explicit, type in the site colon search operator with safe search on. If you don't see your site in the results, Google is filtering your site when safe search is enabled. We have four recommendations for site owners with regards to safe search. Following these recommendations, we'll enable Google to better understand which parts of your site can be classified as explicit in terms of safe search. Add metadata to pages with explicit content. One of the signals our systems use to identify pages with explicit content is the rating meta tag shown on screen. We recommend adding this meta tag to any page with explicit content. Group explicit pages in a separate location. If your site contains significant amounts of explicit content and non-explicit content, we recommend grouping the explicit pages separately from the non-explicit pages on your site. This is in addition to adding metadata. You can use subdomains or folders to do this. Allow Google to fetch your video content files. If you host adult content, allowing Googlebot to fetch your video files enables Google to understand the video content and provide a better experience for users who don't want or don't expect to see explicit results. Google may limit or prevent discoverability of embedded video files that cannot be fetched. Allow Googlebot to crawl without age gate. Also for adult content hosts, if you have a mandatory age gate, that's fine. But we recommend allowing Googlebot to crawl your content without triggering the age. You can do this by verifying Googlebot requests and serving the content without the age gate. This allows Google to better understand your pages and to read any explicit content metadata. For more details on each of those methods, check out the links in the description. If you believe your site has clearly been incorrectly categorized by Safe Search, and it has been at least two to three months since you've followed the guidance for optimizing your site, you can request a review using the URL shown on screen. Note that if you're an advertiser on Google and have questions about how Google features your ads, you can contact Google Ad Support. To learn more, check the links in the description. We hope this video helped you understand how to make sure your content is classified correctly when it comes to explicit and violent content. If you have both safe and explicit content on your website, this could be extremely relevant to you. So 
Make sure you follow Google's content policies and the methods discussed in this video to get more relevant traffic and to keep the web safer.